welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started lord i come before you humble lord thanking you and praising you for your word holy spirit asking that you word my mouth that you take over that you give me the wisdom that i need oh god in the mighty name of jesus if someone is watching that doesn't know you i said you give my heart of repentance touch their ears to hear and their heart to receive your word oh god in the mighty name of jesus before we get started don't forget to subscribe leave a comment hit the notification bell Please share these videos if there's anything about this video that was positive, that you like. Um, hit the like button. And with that being said, let's move on. Okay, I come on to share with you revelation I received from reading this. Because when I used to hear about this, I, it's like I heard it one way. But it was a big something missing out of it. It's about Abraham when he was tested. When the Lord told Abraham to sacrifice his son. Now, when I always heard some someone preach this, I never saw this little important nugget in this. So I just want to share it with you guys. We're going to start at Genesis 22. Abraham tested. Read it right quick because it's kind of long, but the point is short, but it's big to me and hopefully to you. Okay, 22. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of M Mor Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain. I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son, Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to him. I mean, we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac. And he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, said to his father, Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied, replied, I'm sorry, the fire and wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place God told, had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound, he, I'm sorry, he bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in the thicket he saw a ram. We always hear about the ram in the bush caught by its horn. He went over and, and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. And to this day it said, oh the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Now, I always heard pastors preach about Abe about this part right here. Told him this is the part we always hear about this part, or I did anyway. When they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bought he he bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on the top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. But this is the part that I never heard. It's just me. 
Now, first of all, when God um, tested Abraham and he told Abraham to take his son, his only son, whom he loved, which is Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah, Moriah and sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on the mountain, he would show him. Okay. When Abraham got up early the next morning, it said Abraham got up early the next morning and loaded the donkey and took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. They didn't say Abraham prayed. Abraham said, God, my only son, my only son, Lord God, please don't take my only son. Whom I love so much, Isaac. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be obedient to you. But my prayer is, and I'm going to walk by faith for this, that Lord God, that you, that you have something else for me up here. That you have something else that I could sacrifice to you. A different burnt offering. But not my son, Lord God. Not my son. My only son you've blessed me with. But I'm going up there and I'm going to be obedient. But Lord, I'm standing by faith that you're going to have a ram in the bush when I get there. You're going to have something else that I could put up before you as a burnt offering. Nobody, I haven't heard nobody preach that. I'm not going to say nobody ever did, but I didn't hear that. But as I was reading, the Lord showed me this. And he took his servant and his son. Isaac and this also what the Lord showed me he told his servants stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there we work we will worship and then we will come back to you I Abraham said we will go worship and we me and my son will come back to you Abraham did this by faith. He did what God said. He was obedient. By, he's obedient by faith. But he, always, he also was obedient by his prayer. What he had before God. That he was going to bring his son back. That God was going to have a ram in the bush for him when he get there. And what happened when he got there? He did everything. He still was going into motion. As being obedient to God. And what God was asking him to do. He still was being obedient. He still built. Abraham built an altar. He still built the altar. He still arranged the wood. He still bound his son Isaac. And laid him on the altar. On top of the wood. He still did all those things. He reached for. He reached. He then reached out. He still took out the knife to slay his son. He still was obedient. But he still was walking by faith. That a ram would be in the bush. That God would use something else. For him to, to sacrifice. He still was obedient. But then he let, number 11 say. But the angel of the Lord called out to him. From heaven. Said Abraham. Abraham. He knew. He knew. When, he, when the angel called out his name. God was going to move on his behalf, on his prayers. And it says here, don't lay a hand on the boy, he said. The angel said, do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your only, from me your son, your only son. Then Abraham looked up and there was a thicket. He saw a ram. He stood by faith. And faith is what pleases God. Faith without, without works is dead. Abraham worked his faith. And God showed up. God had a ram in the bush for Abraham. For Abraham to sacrifice unto him. The burnt offering. It was a ram in the bush. And it says here. So Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. And to this day is said on the mountain, the Lord, it will be provided. If we stand by faith, 
as small as a mustard seed, God will provide. It doesn't matter what you're going through today. Stand by faith all the way up until God, get, until God do it. It doesn't matter how it look. Even as Abraham was taking each step up to the mountain. Even as he stood back and watched and looked back at the mountain. Then he began to walk toward the mountain. He had to stand by faith. He had to stand by faith as him and his son was going up to the mountain with the wood, with the fire, with the knife. He had to stand by faith. And I'm here to tell you today, no matter what, stand by faith. Doesn't matter how it looks. Even if it doesn't look that God, like God is going to show up for you. Stand by faith. Stand by faith. Because faith is what pleases God. Faith is what moves the mountain. Faith as little as a mustard seed will move that mountain for you. Stand by faith. And with that being said, until next time, repent.